Right. Yeah, so I'm good to them. Um how many years on since you doing comedy? Well we attack we are, we are, we start comedy from night no remember stead flash aka Juki Jam me popper yeah all right yeah so I'm good to them. um how many years on since you doing comedy well we attack we are, we are, we start comedy from 1985 so if you check 85 for so now yeah. we are looking on some good 30 years but really when we really come from the forefront is in the 90s when we started to play with Ralph Olness and I must pass I must give my respect my condolences to Ralph Olness can pass off I must big him up Ralph Olness you done you set you set the the platform for a lot of us that we can show our talent on stage because we're working with Ralph Owners where we went around the whole entire Jamaica and yeah. every cook and cranny everybody could have seen a play from the from the Adam Nose, the Mama Man series, the all of them show the Ralph Owners produce I must say okay. respect. So um what was it like like doing comedy? Like what do you start on comedy? What was was the first stage you go on with the first place to perform? Well, How was it back then, like compared to now? Well, my brother, for sure, let me tell you, the first time I performed was in a church. Yeah. First, first time. Sunday school thing, and it's, I'm, I'm a player. I think it was when Jesus, Christmas, when Christmas play, right? Though, and I was yeah. one of the disciples. And me, me, the, 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 the pastor said, hey, you know, say you can't act. And I said, yeah. And then, no, I started to kind of get a little pre. And then yeah. one day, no, I'm a virgin worker, JBC. Him see me, Ernest Miller, big up yourself, anyway, you're there. Him said, why not come to a reading? And some of the reads that I play, yeah. that was 1985. I play when I work with this lady, she named Ayasin Brown. Okay. Passed off to us, she passed away too. You know, these are people who start the business, who play the business for so long. Yeah. But also I give them respect also too, you know? So Ayasin Brown, she was a, she's a good writer and director, you know? So that there started a show called Don't Blame the Postman. Okay. That was the first play I did. We were sure it at Green Gables Theatre. For years, okay. about, about, we were only for about two years there. And then after that, you now Ralph Simi. I say more I'm for the team, I'm gonna join Ralph Owners. And the first play I did for Ralph Owners was Mama Man and that was 1989, 1990, the year when Gilbert Yeah, blow. that's 1988, 1988. Yeah. 88, 89. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. that was the year we did Mama Man. I was like six. Yeah, you were six? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like six. What a judgment is Papa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it was fun and it I really put them on the platform as I said, I showed a mama man. At soft feet, you know. Yeah. So, what's the biggest stage show you stage you ever perform? Perform on like, what's the biggest stage where you say yes, you make your name like. Well, as I'm say, my man, open, open up everything yeah. because we we done the world. We told, we tour, we tour, we told my man. But that show you called Bashment Granny. Yeah. That show that take the world by storm, and I must say that show that we we'll put together as a family. That show that really, I really care me more into the eyes of the younger folks, the older folks and middle-aged folks who enjoy play. So I must give credit also to Bash my Granny. Yeah. And that was the play that really put my lap and stuff yeah. the whole way too. Okay. So you think you think you think it's easier to be a comedian now or in your time? Like what was the struggle to like get yourself on a seat but then compared to now we have social media, we have them you know we have phone a man I'm gonna buy you and Put on a wig and come out and you know what I mean? Yeah, well, well, I want to tell you, it kind of, to me, it kind of easier because you have so many, so many things upon the, upon the, upon the phone where you can make things happen. Yeah. And it can, it can have, you know, you can have a little yeah, thing yeah, and yeah, thing. Yeah, but yeah, back yeah. then, when we, when we start out, we have to in our script, we have to go in the mirror, read line, practice line, re re rehearse, 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 rehearse. Rehearsal is normal, like for six weeks. I mean, oh, okay. every yeah. day. Oh. Every day, like for six weeks, we will rehearse like for four to five hours every evening. Yeah. We we'll have to go rehearsal. Okay. Every day, only we're able to go rehearsal on Saturday and Sunday. And if needs be, with them say the player that needs to open, I will be behind. We have to come in on Saturday oh. and Sunday and do rehearsal. Okay. So, so I think back then it was a bit harder in a sense because you have to learn the lines and you have yeah, and remember we never have the, we never have the technology like that where the phone can you can't type the phone you can type the line or you can't read back no you have to read the script the man study the script the man and practice and you know you know the mirror and you know you talk to the mirror every day okay. you know it was you know it's like that okay so what was it like being like a comedian back then like you ever get in a fight when, when you like not like physical fight but like people try to stop you and like not you know what i mean yeah, um to tell you the honest joe when i lie my brother push out 
Yeah. I can't remember me get a personal vendetta from no one. Okay. Because guess what? That's it's whenever cool. me join a team, yeah. I try to understand everybody, them behavior, them attitude. Yeah. So what I try to do is try not to go over a man, a man side and say, yo, he not like that, so I push things on him. No, I try to stay within my yeah. thing and stay within the theme thing. Yeah. So when I kind of went on a confrontation, you know, but we have little vibes. All, we have a little vibes most time when we have rehearsal and we have you know we have plan lines and we had we drop a line for a man a man a light line might say yo when the light a line in but you yeah. know say so somebody get some light about who will line there because it's all fun but I can't say I get a real fight from no one in the business because okay. I'm say, I'm very lovable. I love people, yeah. I show respect for people. That's one of my one of my number one thing. Respect, respect, respect. Alright. Even to the young kids. We don't, we don't disrespect no one. Yeah. So do, I'm loved by everyone. Okay. So what have you been up to now since after like you know what I mean? Cause a lot of people are asked like, you know what I mean? I'm not a jockey for a while. Like, well, that's you know what I mean? well, like, you know what I mean? What well, one? What well, I mean? well we now US now we live in US. Yes. Yeah, so, the family oh, wow. in the US. So you know okay. so it's a whole different vibes because when I was in Jamaica, that was my my bread and butter. Okay. Acting was my thing. That was my work. That was my job. That's why I get up every day and do acting, acting, acting. Get up and go on a foreign, go on a place, go on a country. We just, we, we, it's like the, 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 the routine for the week yeah. was show start Tuesday. So the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at the theater. Saturday and Sunday, we go on to the parish. Oh, okay, so, so it was like that every week. And, oh. and then in between them, them, them weekend, there, we jump into foreign. So we're going to the okay. Caribbean island, we're going to England, we're going over the place. So it was that one that we are good. I said that was my job. So me and Lupin both 20 other years, we do that, the touring there. Yeah. So it was like really expensive. We never do another job. From the start, okay. commit myself to acting, that was my complete job. Okay. So listen, which, which country, which place are they place I love performing most? Which place are they one of the places? Yes, I love performing. Yes, so like. Well, the US is nice. We love the art college good. England nice and in the Caribbean, yo we're going place in the Caribbean. Um, it's a Grenada. Yeah. Grenada and St. Kitts. Antigua. Antigua is like Antigua is like Jamaica. Okay. You can, it's a matter of them, them understand clearly they can just straight up. You know? Okay. But, the same yeah man, I see him think the vibes and the vibes are the same thing on the, the street yeah. man. But um I would say in the US. I would do more show in the US okay. more than the Caribbean. Here in Island, oh my lord, we're gonna like every other weekend. Okay. We had so many shows, so it's like every other weekend we deal with another show and stuff. Cayman Lover Man, Cayman Island yeah. are the biggest audience we ever get in our yeah. show. And this, this show we do is a show we do years. We had like about, about 2005. Yeah. Another audience. And the, the capacity for the, for the place was like 1800. Oh, so okay. oversold the place and we have okay. so the, we're almost yeah. locked, yeah. almost we have, we're locked on Cayman. We have, we're almost, <laughs> get charged feet. Yeah man, I show the man, I show the one, I show yeah. Yeah. One show when we do when we do when we one skettle bomb, one show them skettle bomb. We never too tape it because okay. a lot of say I show and it's skettle bomb. Okay. Yeah man, but a big show that came on. Okay. Yeah man. So one of the what's some of the biggest name you ever work with in in acting like one of the biggest big names that you work with before? Well well well, well, well I work with well I've not per se worked with Oliver one on one on stage. Oh, okay. But I've, I've in rehearsal with him where oh, he okay. had directed show that we do. And yeah. after shout out to Oliver, big up Oliver, the old, the old yeah, man, yeah. String Bean, the old Chris yeah. Daly, String Johnny, yeah. Lemon, you know, Garfield, Bad Boy, Trevor, yeah. Bashi, Mama Man, Digger. Not, you know, when I showed things to Shibata, good youth still, but him just want to grow up. He want to grow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, just want to yeah, grow yeah. up, you know? Yeah. So, but the whole thing is, but the dead is still, you know? Sorry, Baba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You asked from before. What was your like, what was a childhood like growing up? Uh, where, where, where are you from in Jamaica, actually? Oh, Papine, you know? You're from Papine? Papine, okay. Kingston, Papine, Tavern. Okay. Yeah, man, we came to the mute the group, oh. and Simple to the mute there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah until yeah, when yeah. Simple to the artist, when my boss out, I wheeze at the beat, pan feed, and I say, yeah, Simple to you're a boss. So yeah. from them days that there's some bar and go tavern, you know? Oh, so I have a big up my beer of them still, papi in. Okay, so you grew up, up in your mother, father, one. Yeah man, my oh, mother. Okay. My mother actually was from tavern. Oh, but okay. my father's from US. Oh you know, so my father's more fine man, but my mother oh. uh, less of a barn and go, me and my sister, my brother, we have 
We have, oh. we have three brothers and one sister. We all grow together, you know. And everybody's still alive. Big, everybody's still alive. Okay. Big up to my sister Ingrid. Big up my brother Carl and my brother father. mother, mother, auntie. You're good. She there. She living far now. She been with her far in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I so, so built the family, too, you know. Yeah. So mm. what? What? What we can look out for you for now for this new year coming up? Like what project you're working on right now? Well. The other day, just before the pandemic, me and Bad Boy showed that about a script when though in my archery was doing something. So okay. I'm saying more remount the script there. But then again uh, the pandemic come. Yeah. So we decided to have them out we were kind of a shelf it. But what, what is happening now is that everybody had tape show now to do on paper field. Oh okay. So that's yeah. where them tape well we usually when we, when we tape show, we tape it so we're gonna show it and everything from YouTube. But right now, most of the plays that we're doing now to Jamaica, yeah, is being taped and then shown pay per view. So if, you, if you watch a play now, a new play, you have to go from pay per view, pay a little $20, $25 oh, okay, and okay, view okay. it. Oh, okay. Because this Sunday, Trevor them have a show named Social Distance, M. Bashi and Diggle, Social okay. Distance. Where is it? Here and it's going to be It's going to be on pay per view. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Okay, okay, yeah, man. Okay. So you can check it out. Alright. Okay. So, mm -hmm. one more question I'm going to wrap this thing up. You mm -hmm. know. What's one of your biggest achievements? You can say yes. This one I made. You know what I mean? Something you achieve out of. You have to have material thing or you have to have, um, anything. Anything. For yeah, material but, thing, yeah. you don't know you have to secure your house, your roof over your head. And I want to oh. think that me to secure me secure my roof over my oh, head. Oh, that's good. And for the family them so they can enjoy yeah. roof that Jamaica, you know? So in Paris, yeah. they're only secure, which is very good. But otherwise from that, I learn humbleness and humility. Yeah. And that can be everywhere, everywhere. Respect, humbleness, and humility. For real, man. you know, because everything you everything you learn at school, but to understand, no matter how you think you're big and all think people love you, always show respect to each and everyone. Love mm -hmm. and respect. For real, man. For real. Love and respect For every real. time. So you want to see your fans them out there? You know, they have a lot of fans. Yeah, man. Young and old. And yeah, man. We have. You know, young, the baby, the suckling, the, the old and the elderly. Elderly, don't worry. There was some more jokey jam coming soon. But it's gonna be mostly on yes, tape. Okay. Blessing my brother, blessing, blessing. Yeah. It's gonna be more on tape and until this pandemic over. Because yeah. I want to tell them, I must also shout out to the writer, the great writer Paul Beale in Pass After. I just want to send you know, my condolences to the family yeah. again. Yeah. You know, Paul is a great master, a great teacher. You know, we we'll learn a lot from you. So we were planning to do like a, a collaboration of plays that Paul has put together. Okay. We're planning to we we're going to do that for 2020. Okay. But because again the pandemic, pandemic again, yeah. everything is kinda of shell. But we want to do that to show respect for him. You know, so we just want to just big up and respect and just don't worry man, fans, we just so see something new. Alright? Yeah, yeah man, love. love. Man. Yeah man. For real man. Thank mm. you. Yeah man, I bless my brother and yeah, I love and love you know. Yeah, I love and love you yeah, So man. far when they come to the interview here, yeah? in the US. New York. New yeah. York. Queens. Ah, Queens. To be exact. To yeah, be exact. Alright. So, yeah, man, joking. love and love, you know. Thank you for having me. I want to tell you, so far, you know, if I'm driving, come yeah, to the right? interview, yeah. <laughs> About four, the man drive, come to the interview, yeah. yeah man, so, I want to give a bigger shout out to you, yeah, man. man just, real, just, just check it out, all right, push out. Yeah, push out. push out TV. Yeah, man. At the right TV. No other TV, but yeah, the right TV. Push out TV. All right, Every sir. time. So, look out for it. More work accompanied, and you're going to have more arts that come because I'm going to link up. I'm going to make sure link up Trevor, the whole team yeah. from Jamaica. I'm going to link up so we're going to know, we're going to know where I'm going because everybody kind of. Keep back you know, but don't worry. Mm -hmm. When I say the thing, thing or rule. Yeah. Before we leave again, if somebody wanna contact you for any skit or any play or anything, where them can contact you, where them can um, find you. Um right now, but I wouldn't want to give up my number right now. But yeah. me up on IG, me up on IG, me on Instagram page, just okay. look for Jokey Jam. So you can leave a message out there, send me a request and we can talk from there. Okay. Alright, so we did it. Alright. Right. So remember on the IG page is just look for Jokey Jam. It's there. And then okay. on Facebook, you know, it's Ted Flash. Ted Flash. Ted, uh, me about three pages. You can't miss the only Ted Flash. Did it. Three of me. Three of me did it. The only Ted Flash. All right. Yeah. You can't miss it. All yeah, right. So, definitely. peeps, one love. Peace yeah, out. Respect. Respect. One love, brother. One Respect, love, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Stop it, Sandy. Stop it, man. Stop it. Yeah, man. <laughs>